Hey, good Fox here. Today we've got some Market Monday action. The sponsor today is the Market, the uh, replacement for Bop It, the unsuccessful placement. I got to do better on those sponsors. Anyways, um, let's get into first of all. I want to talk about these football outsiders and anyone we can really speculate on this week. I didn't talk about these cards at all, um, and we'll, we'll probably want to look through these each week on anything good. Like last year, like these special team players and football outsider did pretty well. But this year, because Madden has nerfed a lot of stats on these cards, this guy's kick power is only 92. Uh, Jordan Berry, 89 actually. That's nothing spectacular. 13K, that's way too much. I mean, his price will go down uh, with Team of the Week today and through the week. But, you know, that's priced right around the other guys in the high 80s with 92 kick power. So there's no opportunity there. The opportunity I see for a guy that could like be a budget baller that might go up once he's out of packs is this Bradbury, and we'll talk about packs in a little bit. 2600 by Team of the Week release tomorrow, you know, when all the, the new bundle comes out and everybody's pulling packs, and then through the week before Friday. I can see this getting to maybe, you know, under 2,000 coins. Might be a decent snatch, uh, because there's plenty of him on the market, and his price, you know, an 80 CB, it's not that high, but I can see it going up to 4K. So if you have a small amount of coins to flip some things, he might be a good choice if you can get him. If I think you're pretty much locked into some profit if you can get him under 2,000 coins, because um, you will be able to bring it. You know, unless we get screwed over by packs, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I'll be picking up a few of those Bradberries um, through the week. One, uh, maybe some snipes or something, and then I should be able to sell it for a little bit more. Um, let's get right in uh, to. Ricky Williams and Mike Singletary Gold. You know how I talked about them last week a little bit? It seems EA had some sort of faucet on um, for these players, these gold legends of these two cards. Let's go to their uh, auction house. Because they've only gone down in price with the market. Like, we haven't seen much, many other legends change in price except for those two. So, I, I'd, I'd imagine this, here's what I think happened. Um, they had a faucet on last week for these gold legends because they were the ones in packs. Uh, and they forgot to turn it off for this weekend's packs because they were a, a control C, control V uh, from last weekend to this weekend. The exact same promo. Uh, I have a pack tracker on my computer, um, and we'll talk about that in a little bit more. But so it, it kind of makes sense, though. Uh, sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm looking over the computer, not the screen. Um, that EA left on this supply a little bit longer than they wanted because the other gold legends, we didn't see the change with their prices like the, the ones that were released this weekend they didn't they, they're not nearly as um, available as these Ricky Williams and Mike Singletary cards are because it's strange because like Emmett Smith like so Williams is going for 13k which is a little you know it's Sunday so it's a little bit higher um, let's go to Singletary he's 11k so um, so 13 and 11k for those two and Singletary was under 10k for a little bit I saw, I actually doubled down on that, snatched up a couple. Uh, but when you look at, say, Emmett Smith, Smith's price is double Ricky's for these golds. Um, so, I, uh, and like 20, 30K even. So, where he was at this weekend was a third of the price of a lot of what these Emmets were at. Um, so, that's, I think Ricky Williams' gold price is a third of what it will be. I think EA will. Fix it slash not put those packs in the game next weekend and the next time we get legends packs the collectibles will probably outstrip the gold you know those two gold legends unless EA somehow keeps that sync on for those two specifically which could very well happen but there's a major market um, misalignment I think is the uh, word I want to use for those for that supply of those specific golds so I expect that to change maybe I'll uh, tweet at EA, let them know, uh, tell them the, their pack guy that this uh, one kind of is screwed up. So um, maybe we'll make some money off that. Who knows? Make some coins. So maybe I'll do that selfishly, you know, because errors in their games are things we can take advantage of for some coins. Um, all right, so upcoming promotions. Everybody knows breast cancer awareness is October, and Man of the Month is upon us during that time too. The best time to rip packs for those promos, if you're going to do it, is usually day one, especially man of the month. With breast cancer awareness, uh, here it is. With promos, the general thing is like on day one of the breast cancer awareness, everybody's hyped for the promo, and what ends up happening with the promo is that they give up crappy packs, crappy toppers, and then the second time, then the, the, those t packs will expire, 
they'll do some other packs, and then they'll bring those packs back with an even better bundle. So people, you know, because the excitement of the new promo is gone, the new bundle really has to take up that excitement. So people, that second bundle will be a better bundle, but each individual card won't be as much, worth as much for the breast cancer awareness. Um, just how it's due. And, and last year they did two sets of breast cancer awareness, which is, um, who knows if they do that again. When second, when second players dropped, uh, the first players, I think there's a big set that they went up in price. And we'll talk about that if breast cancer, when that launches, and we'll see uh, how they do that. But I don't want to speculate right now on it. But yeah, for Man of the Month, we're going to see how much they put in for, like, gold prices. And a lot of this, um, a lot of these gold prices depend on how rare they are for certain teams. Like, right now, if you look at uh, Seattle's golds, they were going for 4K before Color Rush dropped. Um, so let's go here. We talked about this last week too. A similar thing is going to happen for Man of the Month, and I talked about this too. We got we got to speculate on what team's going to go up. It's easiest like when the when the promotion drops or when they announce the players, find like a speedy halfback, wide receiver, uh, or a cornerback, or I mean like say say Cam Chancellor or Earl Thomas or something like I don't know for Seattle especially because sorry we got to go to all players. Um, those players specifically are high priced. I doubt they will get those players because they already have elites. But say like this uh, KJ Wright gets put into uh, the thing. Well, do I think he's gonna go uh, like he? Will he be a very attractive player? I don't know. Curse, Curse's speed is 86. That will go to you know upper 80s once he's moved up. So he could go for a decent amount. I don't know about it. But anyways, so speedy wide receivers. Somebody like if like Lockett gets something like that, then yeah. Seahawks will probably double in price because they've already doubled in price with the color rush uniforms because they don't have a lot of gold players. Um, I'll link something again. I linked it last week. See, Mad Dog's amazing one on these Man of the Month sets. Uh, but otherwise, you know, Silvers, same deal. You can listen to last week for more. We got into the Man of the Month. Um, but yeah, knowing what the set reward is makes a huge difference. So if you can jump on it quickly or um, I I'm going to rip packs when Man of the Month opens. I don't know if Man of the Month and Breast Cancer Awareness will drop on the same day. I really hope they don't, because I think if Man of the Month drops a few days earlier than Breast Cancer Awareness, it would be a great time to rip Pro Packs if the Man of the Month has bronze and silvers in them again. Um, and then, because if, be, if they both drop at the same time, then everybody's ripping packs on the same day, and the profit margins, I don't think, on those bronzes and silvers would be as good, uh, because everybody's already ripping packs just for the promotion and selling them anyways. Um... So, if you've been if 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 your team right now is a budget team and you've been kind of hoarding coins, I I've uh, bought my team already. But for those who haven't, if kind of like you've been waiting, breast cancer awareness promo, the day that that's announced, that that that, that they're gonna have it the next day, or that, that the hype blog is out there, that's when you wanna buy. The anticipation of promos crash the market more than the actual promos, because as we learned last year and as we see, promos are pretty crap. Uh, they really haven't excited us much that the hype outweighs their actual impact on the game because EA doesn't want to crash the game with every... I, I give them credit. They don't want to crash the game with every single promotion. Um, so they do make them pretty crappy for at least the packs and whatnot. And the players aren't that big of upgrades over our current ones. So yes, but the, the hype will crash the market and that's when you want to buy if you have the coins to buy. Um, and uh, talking about packs earlier... We're, we're due for all pro packs. Last all pro packs had a team of the week item topper. So if you've been investing in, I'll try to get this out before team of the week drops. So try to get it out Monday morning. Um, if you're investing in these team of the week players, sell now because we also haven't seen all Madden packs or Mutt Gear packs. I don't know if they're gonna bring them back. We haven't seen those in a while. We haven't seen all Madden packs all year. So if you've been investing in team of the week items, football outsider items, sell before the changeover, before the new packs. Um, because I told you last week that Football Outsiders, um, Levante David, no, wrong one, sorry. Football Outsiders week one, Levante David was a good purchase. I said that last week. If we get all Madden packs, his price is going to be cut in half probably. Um, so definitely sell Levante if you can. I don't know about half, but it will go down some depending on what packs we get. I'm, I'm starting to unlo unload my investment. I'll probably unload... I, I invested in 10 of them. I'll probably unload 5 just to see. And if we lose some coins... I, I'm, I'm already up coins. 
Um, but if we lose some coins after the five sell, then it's no big deal. Um, because sometimes it happens. It's another great, another great scene. Every opportunity for a market crash is a great opportunity to buy in. Like tomorrow when the server changes over, I'm going to be, if it's all man packs, I'm going to be investing in some of these older football outsiders. You know, some of the ones that are really good sleepers. Um, I think it was Quandre Diggs. Diggs is pretty good. If he crashes down to 2K tomorrow, like I could see him coming back up to 4K in a week's time. So I might pick up a few Quandre Diggs too uh, tomorrow if we get all man packs. But uh, that's it for the market Monday. A little short. Uh, we don't have a ton of content. You know, with, with the next few months coming up, a lot of promotions. It'd be a lot easier to get. Um, ideas and things to invest in like I said BCA earlier will provide us some week one week two investments type of deal if they do similar to last year uh, but again that's it let me know if you have any questions in the comments or anything you guys have found on the market um, I got past market Mondays I should have a playlist or something um, I have it set up you can click on that for the previous weeks I've got a lot of information on there for like flashbacks legends everything um, that we discussed so far but th that's it thanks for watching call to action I will see you tomorrow <laughs>